Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to deal with the high ball on the backhand. And I'd like to share with you some work that we've done with Leo. He's one of our online subscribers, and he had a major problem with a left-handed opponent who constantly played high topspin to his backhand. And now, with some simple, easy-to-follow instruction, he's totally able to neutralize this, and the opponent who used to give him enormous trouble, Leo is now regularly beating. Now, to deal with this stroke, we need to look at it in three parts. We need to look at recognition, decision, and execution. So the first thing is the player hits the ball and I turn to the backhand side, I'm in my ready position, I turn to my backhand side and the advice I'm going to give you applies to one-handers and two-handers. So I turn to my backhand side and I recognize that I'm trapped. Now what I mean by that is that the option to go forwards and the option to go back has gone. Obviously we can play the ball on the rise but that's not a high backhand. We can run back and play the ball deep but that's not a high backhand. But the best players in the world get stuck in the trap. Roger Federer playing Nadal, he gets stuck in the trap, right? The ball is high, he can't go back, he can't go forwards, he's right in the middle. So the first thing is recognition, and as early as you can, you need to recognize, ah, I'm in the trap. I'm in between, running back, running forwards. So here it comes, guys, this is a high backhand. And now having recognized that, I want to get a specific mindset, a decision. And the decision is neutralize. You're not trying to hit a defensive shot. We're not trying to lob this. And we're certainly not trying to drive this for a winner and attack it. What we're trying to do is to neutralize. And to do that, you've got to have a target in mind. It either wants to be down the middle or back to the backhand. But finding that target doesn't involve thinking about a target on the court. It involves thinking about a target on the net. So our target is in this area here or in this area here. We don't target down the court. We target this area, almost like a window over the net, maybe one and then two racket lengths over the net in this area here. If you go through that target, then you're going to neutralize the opponent's high ball to the backhand. And hitting a high ball to the backhand that gets you in the trap that you can't go forward to and you can't go away from is not that easy to do over and over again. So there's a degree of risk and effort from the opponent. So it's not like this is gonna become an endless battle of you getting caught in the trap. But when you're caught in the trap, recognize it as early as possible, and then you've got to target in the right place so that you're neutralizing your opponent. And then the third stage is how to execute. And we need to execute as a one-hander, by rolling the right shoulder through the stroke and as a two-hander by rolling the left shoulder through the stroke. Let me show you what I mean. I see that it's going to be a high ball. I see them in the trap. So I take the racket back high, much higher than normal. And now if I push through from here, I'm in a very, very weak position. But if I roll the shoulder over, not the elbow, very important, that will cause injury. If I roll the shoulder over, then this high ball I can play with, with uh, confidence, with strength and assurity. So remember, take back high, this is the one-hander. Take back high and then roll the shoulder over. For the two-hander, the same, take back high. It shouldn't be difficult, you've recognized it early, you've already made your decision to neutralize, right? Take back high and now this time, roll the left shoulder over. When you roll the left shoulder over, you have physical strength even in this high position. When we push through, then the higher we go, the weaker the motion gets. But by rolling the shoulder over, then you have sufficient, and actually much more than sufficient, physical strength to handle that high ball, even if it's slightly above head height. So let's run through these again. The first thing is recognition. Ah, I'm in the trap. The second thing is, I know the solution. Don't panic. Neutralize. And the third thing is roll. Whether it's one-handed, roll the front shoulder, two-handed, roll the back shoulder. I hope this makes sense because for a lot of people, that high ball on the backhand is a major problem, and it doesn't have to be. For Leo, this was a fantastic solution, and it totally reversed the results he was getting about against his opponent. I'd love to know what you think of our simple but practical solution on how to deal with high balls on the backhand. 
Remember, our pledge to our viewers is that we're not going to make you perfect one day, but we are going to make you better today. We try to reply to every single comment, so let me know how this works in your game. And if you want to practice this or any other of our ideas, then have a look at our partners, PlayYourCourt.com. They send professional tennis coaches direct to your area and direct to your local court. It's a fantastic service, and the information on their membership is in the comment section below. And if you're like Leo, if you've got a problem on some area of your game, and you want to change what's happening, change the results, take it to the next level, have a look at what online coaching can do for you. We're helping players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world. The information on what we offer is in the website below. So remember, guys, first of all, recognize you're in the trap. And secondly, you have to then have a plan. And the plan is to neutralize the decision. You're going to neutralize that shot and get out of the trap. And the third thing is high take back and roll the shoulder. One hand as it's the front shoulder, two hand as it's the back shoulder. I hope this makes sense. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.